Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lori, and you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more content like this. <laughs> Today is something a little bit more different. So by the time this video is up, it's going to be on Friday, July 28th, which is basically me and my boyfriend's launch date for our mall business. If you guys may or may not know, I've actually recent, not recently, I've actually started a business back in like, I want to say 2020. I pretty much put a hold on it because I was actually actually working during that time too so it was kind of hard for me but I'm back at it again and this time it is going to be different so today is basically a studio vlog and if you guys don't know what a studio vlog is it's basically something a lot of small businesses on YouTube that they start to show them a little bit of behind the scenes which I thought would be something good to have. Um, I have a list of things because I didn't want this to be a chaotic. I have a list of things that I'm going to be doing in order. I kind of look hash a little bit because we recently just came back from playing outside. That kind of sounds like <laughs> we're like, like little yeah. Little kids. <laughs> it sounded like we're little freaking little kids. So Lance is actually teaching me how to play soccer because I don't play soccer at school. We're trying to like fix that a little bit because he plays practically every sport. So I'm basically going to show you guys what I pretty much have. A lot of these things are pretty much custom. The only thing that's not custom is basically these um, holographic zodiac signs. So if you guys can see. Everything is made to order so once you like place in the order we're basically going to make it right then and there we also are going to be doing custom text stickers which is basically a custom text any text you want any color you want any font you want onto a sticker and then it's basically the same concept of this holographic one the only thing changing is pretty much the, the shine to it. I'm kind of still iffy about it, but if you want to take the chance on doing it, I am doing custom cartoonish, animated-ish, like, um, animals. So basically, you just send me a picture of the, your, your pet, and I'll basically turn it into, like, I'll basically turn it into a digital sticker, not a digital sticker, but a digital art <laughs> and turn it into a sticker and basically it's the same concept of um any photo you want like couples friends things like that i kind of messed up right over here if you guys can see okay i'm gonna show you guys how i basically do tiktok because i have to do i have to upload a tiktok handy dandy this is my phone stand thing that i'm using to show the little shine to it and kind of wish there's sunlight in here but it's like we have bipolar like while they're here in colorado so okay basically I turn my phone into this basically 4K 60 pixel. I want to say so it's like clear. And I'm gonna clear out my desk so that it looks like clean. Mm -hmm. We used to have each other's playlists No, no we used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But you're hot Let me show you guys how I pretty much edit my, the art TikTok videos So I'm gonna just gather all of the airdrop the two videos to my ipad and then while that's like going i'm going to go to the app that i use to edit so it's called luma fusion i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but i call it luma fusion so all of this that i have on here is basically things that i'm still editing or things that are not uploaded yet so like they're kind of backed up until here just in case i'm gonna name this project um TikTok, let's call it Zodiac Sticker. Zodiac Holographic. Zodiac 
aspect of this. So basically all I do is just put the two videos together and then just edit some clips out, make it fast, make it slow, um, whatever I just need to do so that it looks neat and presentable. But every time it pops up on TikTok, it just looks so ugly. I just used this app because it was it's cheaper than Final Cut and I basically got used to everything. I don't use that much, but I use more than what iMovie gives me, so. I even used this app to edit all of my videos and me and Lance's videos together on our YouTube channel. Still in mind. Yeah. And maybe we could try it next week again. But I don't wanna think what's toxic, but who cares? TikTok at Little X Creations. We don't have much posted right now, but along the journey, we will definitely have a lot more to show you guys. I've been drinking like in this like beer glass cup. I'm testing out the condensation of how these stickers uphold. So far, I'm not saying anything bad about it. I don't really like it because of how it's sticking out. Like um, Hello Kitty's whiskers are sticking out, so I kind of don't really want that. It holds up fine on our hydros and stuff it's like it's not lifting or anything it is waterproof so basically you can keep scrubbing if you guys saw our tiktok we basically did a, a wash test on hydro flask with the scrub daddy which is known to be a little bit harsher a harsher sponge yeah we're right now i'm it's just a little just a little testing out we're not for sure if we're gonna be doing this but I thought it was pretty cute. A really cute strawberry um, Hello Kitty design. We want to open a few boxes before we go. I got two packages that came in. One is for me and one is for our business. So basically, I don't spend a lot of money on myself. Especially, especially for like, uh, what do you call it? like expensive clothes or whatever but i like to buy clothes from secondhand people like from other people so like poshmark Mar marcari um and then some people like in my hometown they actually do their own btqs or boutiques online on instagram so i basically follow them so this is basically it. i'm going to show you guys i definitely do want to do a try on this is a velvet like brown Top. And then it came with its matching long flare pants. And this is from Forever 21. Then I have, I want to say this is like a velvet feel. But it is a very thin, it is a very thin stuff. But basically I got matching like tops and bottoms. So I got this short and then this matching top. So I have basically all of that, basically that same thing in three other colors. Green, blue-ish. Here's the matching one. And then I also got in this like little pink, baby pink. And then here's the top. It's this gray, dark gray color. The shorts that came with it. I thought these are pretty cute. So I got it for $20, all of them, including shipping. So I thought that was a pretty good steal. So next is this Amazon box. <laughs> it's pretty big and there's a reason for that. Okay, so wow, this is a big bubble mailer. I got the Cricut 3 pack, 12 by 24 inch mat. I actually figured that if I want to be able to make all of these like longer, um, these longer projects, I do want to make a good, we have a good quality for it to stick on so that it cuts well. I probably will definitely get this, this brand in this length for the projects. So, but in the future, I actually do like re-arts. Um, I actually tried it recently. I really like it. really sticky. When you pull off like the clear part of it, it doesn't seem like it's very sticky, but when you actually like place your hand on it or like your, your vinyls or your sticker paper, it, like it's very sticky so i would say it's like this basically the same thing as Cricut's one so i would definitely use reart um standard grip mat like the three pack since it's much cheaper um still trying to figure out whether or not i want to do that for the same at with the light grip one because i actually do like using the light grip one 
but I actually only have the light grip in the Cricut brand. So when I first got my Cricut, I actually got two standard grip mats, but this one is actually really busted up now, so I'm gonna say goodbye to it. It doesn't stick anymore. Like, it sticks a little bit, but not a lot. Right now, I want to show you guys a little bit of me create, like, printing stuff out and basically prepping them. Okay, so first, I want to start off with all of our, like, backing cards that we're going to put in with everyone's order so that it doesn't bend as much. stickers that I'm going to be doing so this is basically how it looks like so these are also going to be a new thing that I'm going to be taking pictures like tomorrow because lighting right now is not the greatest but yeah but I'm basically going to show you guys how I basically air this sheet of paper before it gets before it goes into the Cricut and gets cut today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this studio vlog as much as i love showing you guys the behind the scenes of prepping for me and lance's small business we hope that you guys support us in this journey and basically just staying tuned for the entire um journey for however long we have this um shop open for and if you're new here and if you're not new here make sure you are subscribed to my channel and like this video i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time bye